Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Breeze. Right before we get into the video, just want to give a quick shout out to MMORG.com and MMOLink.com. Both links will be in the description. Honestly, guys, they're a great MT sponsor. They're a great site. Go check them out. I've personally bought from them in the past. If you're looking for cheap MT at a great price with really fast delivery, go check them out. Use code TW on MMORG and use code Breeze at MMOLink for a 6% discount, guys. It's a pretty good discount. Really quick delivery. I've bought from them in the past, so I can give them a personal vouch. Very excited to be teaming up with them. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Breeze coming to show you the new NBA 2K16 tip today guys I'm bringing you the best outside center build now We recently switched flaws to an outside big to spread the floor and pretty much allow me to get in the lane and force the team to bring help defense when I'm using my inside guard and What he's able to do is not only is he still able to finish inside very well but he's also now a threat from the outside with his jump shot. So we're going to be going over that in this video. I'm going to have in-game footage later on in the video. But first, we're going to go over what you need to do to set your outside big up for success. Now, first thing you want to do, obviously, make a center. Put his scoring style to outside. Max his height at 7'3". Your hand in this, put it whatever you want. Weight, whatever you're comfortable with. Your dominant dunk hand either. Again, your weight really doesn't matter. And max your wingspan. Now, your shoulder width and body length... You could put those at whatever you want, but you really want to make sure you max out your wingspan, obviously for the longer arms, which is going to help you on defense with blocks, steals. It's going to help you out a little bit on offense as well when you're going for offensive boards. It's going to help your defensive boards, so it's really key to make sure you have that wingspan maxed out. So that's pretty much the exact build for the outside center. Now let's get into the attribute upgrades. So what you guys are going to notice with these attribute upgrades is that really we went with the playmaker for break starter. Now, you don't need to max out your playmaker for break starter, so there's really no point. If you want break starter, which is a really key badge, if you want to be able to throw accurate outlet passes on the break, you know, you can pretty much throw an accurate pass nearly every time to half court or even further at times. And it's just a really key badge for just getting the break started. So obviously, if you want break starter, put your playmaker up to 14, max everything else out, and then put your inside score up as much as you can now as you can see he has five into inside score he has one upgrade left that he can get so he's gonna put that into inside score so max out everything put your playmaker up 14 and then put six into inside score just to help with your inside layup a little bit so that way you're not completely irrelevant around the rim when you're not dunking now as you can see right here going into his attributes he has an 85 standing mid and a 75 standing three. Now here's the thing with the 75 standing three guys. What we found is that at every single height for power forwards and center, so you could be a 6'5 power forward, you are going to have a 75 standing three and moving three no matter what. So you could be a 6'5 power forward and you're gonna have the same exact three ball as a seven foot three center. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but you can go check it for yourself. That's actually exactly how it is. Now, as you can see, we get a 70 standing layup when we put that inside score up five. Now, if you obviously put it up six, you're probably gonna have like a 71 or 72 standing layup. Now, when you put that athlete maxed out, you're gonna get the 80 standing dunk and the 70 driving and contact dunk, which really helps around the rim. You're gonna see in these clips coming up how much he dunks around the rim. He's definitely not irrelevant around the rim. Now, if you notice here, you get the same exact rebounding and defensive stats as an inside center. You get maxed out rebounding at 94 and you get the maxed out defensive stats as well with the 94 iqs and the 94 block you get a 70 steal so all around you're really good and with the 85 standing mid you're gonna see how much that comes in clutch for us because he knocks that down consistently and then all you need is one ring guys because if you remember what i told you about hot zones and when you get hot if you shoot a lot from that top of the key area in my career you're gonna get a hot zone there and if you get one ring, that's all you need in game. So one ring means you're warming up, one ring under your guy, you're gonna get a plus five boost to all your stats in game. So you'll have an 83 ball and you'll be able to knock that down consistently. Now, if you get two rings, which means you're on fire, you'll get a plus 10 boost to all your stats, which means that your 75 three is now an 85 three. And that means you'll really be knocking down from pretty much anywhere on the floor. Now, the badges we got him, we do have corner specialist on his guy, obviously the break starter. He's got a lot of the key badges that you need on a big like defensive crash or all that. We'll be going over the badges in another video and the signature styles for an outside big. But you pretty much want to go along the lines of the same badges for an inside big. And as you can see, he's just knocking down from pretty much anywhere on the floor. 
once he gets heated up and then once we go to him inside as you can see he's still throwing it down just like he was on his inside center i mean as you can see right here he goes up for a stand dunk outside of the paint and he throws it down in traffic so he's definitely not relevant around the rim you know he can still play pretty much however he wants you know if he notices that he's leading in the half court you know if he sees that his guy's trailing behind him we can lead pass it inside the paint to him or if he notices that his man he's not playing very good paint d we can lead pass it inside to him he's still gonna get that stand dunk and if we notice that the big man is cheating down low he's waiting for him he's camping up top we can have him hold that pick up top spread it out and i can throw it back to him and he can knock down that mid-range shot so he's very versatile with this outside big and it really causes problems for the defense because what you're going to notice is we're running a stretch five and we're putting him up top. Now, I'm running with my inside guard, so I'm obviously going to get in the lane. And when I do, it forces them to bring help D. It doesn't matter what defense you're in because if you're running man, it doesn't matter how disciplined of a team you are. If you do not bring that help defense from somewhere, I'm going to get that wide open dunk. And you notice... In this gameplay or not in this gameplay but if you've noticed the past few gameplays i've put up where we're stretching five i'm getting wide open dunks multiple times a game and that's just because there's possessions where the defense just doesn't know what to do they don't want to leave their man wide open so they'll just leave me wide open for the dunk but the one time they do leave me usually it's the big dropping down into the paint trying to protect the rim and then i'll just throw it back up top he'll knock down the shot or if they make a rotation, he'll immediately swing it over to the open man and we'll just swing it until we get that open shot. So really the reads are a lot easier and he's very versatile because you know, it's not like he's a joke around the rim as you're seeing in these clips. He's still dunking and making layups consistently around the rim, especially since he's got that 70 plus standing layup. If he's got two hot rings, then obviously he's gonna have that 80 standing layup. So he's definitely no joke around the rim and he throws down like a maniac if you let him so i mean it's a very versatile build if you guys like it please make sure to leave a like on the video of course if you haven't subscribed already subscribe to the channel a lot more tips to come it's been boy breeze i'm signing out hope you guys enjoyed the tip i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace